afternoon, everyone. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is March 5th, 2020. And I wanted to investigate something here today. And I have investigated the world map of coronavirus, coronavirus cases. And I've compared this to the map of 5G rollout around the world. I think you guys are going to be able to see very clearly how this is all connected. I wanted to uh, investigate this. Very curious to see if there's a connection between the coronavirus around the world and the rollout of 5G cell tower technology. I think you guys are going to be amazed at what we find. Okay, so here is the uh, map. We, we can see that the United States has an elevated uh, amount. It's increasing daily. Europe is getting uh, very bad. Italy is overrun by coronavirus. Uh, the Middle East, Iran, especially uh, the Arab countries, are getting overrun by the coronavirus. And of course, China, uh, Japan, where it all began. But we're going to see that we have uh, links here. I'm going to show you country by country and region by region. But we can see where the 5G rollout has taken place. The United States, number one, has uh, definitely gone 5G. I remember that we shared about this at the beginning of December in 2019. T-Mobile was going live with 5G beginning of December. Uh, we see Europe is... Uh, very high in 5G technology, especially right here, connected to Italy. Uh, Middle East, see? The Middle East, how that is uh, very strong in 5G, and then over here in China. Now let's look at some maps uh, by region. Okay, U.S. has 100 plus cases, it's growing daily. New York State doubled uh, in one day from 11 to 22 cases. So, United States 5G rollout connected to a high volume of coronavirus cases. Europe, Italy, France, the UK, high 5G, high coronavirus. Of course, where it all began, the te technology capital of the world, China, here we've got 226 towers in this region, 36 here, all connected to the beginning of the breakout. Now I'm going to show you some countries that have basically no cases of coronavirus and no cases of 5G technology rollout. Russia, four cases. And there's no 5G technology at all in Russia, okay? Mexico is very low. Five cases of coronavirus. No 5G technology in Mexico. Wow, I'm blessed. I am so blessed the Lord brought us to Mexico. And Yucatan in Mexico is one of the safest states in the whole country. This has really been... A major blessing for us to be out of all disaster zones. We haven't seen any type of uh, catastrophe or natural disaster or any type of <clears throat> earthquake or volcanoes. I mean, Yucatan, Mexico is one of the safest places, I think, in the world the Lord has brought us from. I've been a missionary here in Yucatan, Mexico for 27 years. It's a wonderful place to live. South America, look at the low volume throughout all of South America. No 5G, no coronavirus. Four cases in Brazil. These cases where we have uh, low amounts of, of cases and no 
5G, what is that, uh, what is that connected to? Well, people who travel. You know, it's not hitting the general population. It's hitting people who travel out of the country. They go into these 5G regions, and they're, they're struck by this virus that is being promoted through the technology, and they're bringing it back home. Okay, it's a, it's a man-made virus that's coming through the technology. I think this interactive map that we're, we're, we're creating here, or this map, this overlay map between coronavirus and 5G is a very solid explanation of what is happening and why it is happening. And so here we see again, the Middle East, all the 5G technology that is happening throughout Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and this whole area right here, 245, huge case, huge spike in coronavirus, okay? Africa, basically, coronavirus is non-existent here in Africa. There's no 5G technology at all in Africa. I mean, what's the connection here? These northern countries, maybe they're picking it up from the... Uh, from the waves that are coming from the north or they're picking it up because they travel out of the country. These, these, these places that are easier for them to travel out of the country and they're bringing it back, but there's few people in these, in these areas basically non-existent in all of Africa. No 5G in all of Africa, okay? So I don't have much more to add to that at, at this point. I mean, what I wanted to do is Take a look at the coronavirus map and take a look at the 5G map and see how it is all overlaid, okay? So I hope this uh, makes sense to you guys and I hope that uh, we can have a way to get the word out. Now before I close, let me share something else with you here. I want to share with you from Revelation chapter 16, the bowls of wrath during the great tribulation. The seven bowls, it says in verse 1, Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. The first bowl of wrath, the loathsome sores. So the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth and a foul and loathsome sore came upon the men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image see how this virus is connected to the mark of the beast when the people take the mark of the beast and they're in these 5g regions then the radiation will not be coming uh, just around them, it will be coming directly into them. And we've already seen the 5G uh, contamination or the damage that the 5G is doing. Can you imagine what happens when all of the people have the mark of the beast, it's inside of their body, and the 5G radiation is coming directly to them. And this is the connection between the 5G technology and the mark of the beast, the first bowl of wrath written in the book of Revelation, the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth, a foul and loathsome sword came upon the men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. Okay, it's all connected to the name of the beast, the number of his name, those who have the mark of the beast who will we will need to take it to be able to continue in society, to be able to buy and sell. Those who do not have his name or his number will not be able to buy or sell, and they will be beheaded. Because to continue in society, you must take the mark of the beast. So this is proof of the plans of the elite as we can see the, the connection between the coronavirus map the 5G map, how it's overlaid, how it's all connected to Bible prophecy, and we need to understand this is the time written about in the book of Revelation, in the Bible, in the end times, the end of days, 
and the, and the power of the beast to overcome, to overtake, to make war on humanity. Okay? So we do not want to take the mark of the beast. We want to make sure we are covered in the blood of Jesus. We want to make sure we are saved and ready for the rapture of the church and we're ready to those who end up going through the great tribulation who are not ready at the time of the rapture to understand that it is best do not fear those who can kill the body. Fear those, fear him who can take the body and soul and throw it into hell. We need to understand that God has given us a plan, shown us a plan through the written word of God that we need to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Okay, he is the only way. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So we do, not to, we, need, we do not need to fear the coronavirus. We need to understand what is happening in the times that we are living in. So I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.